My project was an interdisciplinary uh, collaboration between electronic media and film students and theater department students uh, where we basically, it's an actor audition and so we brought in acting students from the theater program and, and had them audition for student films in the, in the EMF program where we have student filmmakers needing actors to act on camera. It kind of tried to harness the natural synergy between these two programs, these two curriculums, um, trying to kind of build bridges and to get these students to uh, meet with each other and work together, which is something um, that hadn't happened as much as we had liked to. So that's what this special project was about, was just getting them in the same room and uh, working together. The problem we were trying to address with this project was to just basically improve the quality of the student films uh, being produced in the EMF program. One of the easiest and most straightforward ways to improve the quality of a film is to improve the acting in the film. Uh, and this is one of, um, one of our main things we were trying to target. And uh, another challenge is just getting students from different disciplines, different mindsets to get in the same room together and interact with each other and uh, to try to give them a more of a professional atmosphere for their student films. Students embraced this, uh, this new resource. We basically created a, a database of actor auditions. These are videotaped performances, headshots, and resumes, so students could access this and, and reference it when considering actors to act in their films. And a lot of students ended up adopting um, and using these actors, working with them, uh, and some of these films even went on to screen at film festivals and in other public screening areas around the area, regionally and nationally, even winning some awards. Uh, which, so I think it was a, a big success and even some students, um, former students, continue to work with some of these actors and collaborations uh, even outside of uh, Towson University. I always recommend inter, uh, interdisciplinary collaboration. Um, it's almost never easy. It's, uh, it's always takes more work, but ultimately I think it's, it's completely worth it. Uh, students generally are always very receptive to interdisciplinary activities. Um, I think they benefit a lot from just understanding how different courses and different programs teach students and, and shape students and how they, how they work with each other. So, there's a lot to be gained from that. For this project, what's next is we're gonna keep running it. Uh, it we, we run it every spring, and so every spring we bring in actors and we have students uh, in the EMF program audition them for films. Uh, and it's something we run once a year and we intend to keep it going. And always trying to grow the number of actors we bring in. Um, in addition, this is kind of fed into a new uh, class project uh, I'm teaching a directing class, directing for film, that's directly uh, working with an acting for the camera class in the theater program. So we're trying to continue to build more bridges between the two programs.